How would you like to learn a really simple technique that will not only assist you to fall asleep, but stay asleep and also have a good quality sleep? Well, that's the, what I'm going to be sharing with you on this video. My name is Kyle Wallace and I'm a Harley Street therapist, hypnotherapist and life coach. And I'm going to be helping you through this containment, isolation and lockdown period that we're all experiencing. Um, people have been increasingly asking me to cover videos regarding insomnia. So what I'm going to be doing is sharing your tips and tricks from my book Sleep Ninja. So uh, what I'm going to talk about today, I've spoken about this in other videos, is an aspect of science called chronobiology and it's what dictates our rhythms and cycles as human beings. It's, um, there, there's an aspect of that called um, circadian rhythms which is a 24 hour cycle it's called our sleep wake cycle it's what makes us fall asleep what makes us wake up again it modifies our metabolism and temperature throughout the day but the important aspect is when we fall asleep our body temperature drops this is why it's really important if someone's got hypothermia you don't let them fall asleep so our temperature drops quite significantly now i've mentioned this analogy before um, but um, there's, uh, if you get an electric motor and you put turning motion into that electric motor, you get electricity out. If you get put electricity into that motor, you get turning motion out. There's this symbiosis goes on, and it's the same thing with our bodies. Right? Um, it, so when we fall asleep, our temperature drops. But what we can do, uh, temperature drops when we fall asleep. What we can do is we can fool our system, we can fool our, our, our rhythms, and uh, we can override it and enhance it. So how we do this is by changing our temperature artificially. So what we do is an hour, an hour is about more optimum. An hour before we go to bed, before we go to sleep, we have a nice warm bath, you know, a hot, nice warm bath. So it's one that really raises your body temperature. You know when you get out and you feel really warm or hot, and, you know. So that's what we're trying to do, raise the core body temperature. And then as we're sitting there relaxing, then our temperature is naturally dropping and our, our bodies think, oh, we must be falling asleep. So it assists us in falling asleep and staying asleep. But a really cool thing as well, another aspect of temperature what we, that's important for, for our sleep quality is the temperature of the environment that we're sleeping in. Um, so it's a lot cooler than you think it is. Um, it's it, it, the optimum uh, temperature of, before bedroom should be about 17 to 19 degrees uh, it, you know this is why when it's in a heat wave or when it's really hot or the aircon doesn't work we can't sleep so it's really cool 17 to 19 degrees is about optimum or 62 to 66 Fahrenheit so put the air conditioning on or have the windows open or you know just have a, have a, a thinner bed sheet so it's really important um, for a quality sleep to have as cold cold a room as possible so an hour before bed, we artificially raise the uh, core body temperature and allow it to drop down and that will assist us in sleeping and a cooler room, 17 to 19 degrees, will allow us to maintain a quality sleep. Okay, look, I'm going to be sharing lots of different videos <coughs> about, um, you know, regarding insomnia, um, stress, all aspects of mental health and, uh, and being happy, okay, during this awful period. So. Uh, Look, thank you for watching my videos, and um, if you like them, could you please subscribe? Uh, don't forget, we're all in this together, it's not going to last forever. Um, so, thanks for watching.